Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon from every part of the world that you are watching us from. Uh, welcome to the Beholders Chat. Uh, this is a show that is brought to you by the Christ Beholders International. And uh, we are a family that believes in Christ, a family that believes in beholding Christ as the ultimate vision because the Bible says that as we behold him, we are transformed into the same image from glory to glory. Uh, my name is Ian Kamande. I am royalty <laughs> because God is my father. And uh, this is the third edition of our message, Christ, the focus of the Bible. And today I am not alone. I am with a fellow beholder. <laughs> I believe he will introduce himself uh, as we start. So welcome, sir. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My name is Apostle Jerry. I'm saved by grace through faith which is in Christ Jesus. I'm so delighted to bring to you the word of God that is able to build you up and to give you an inheritance among the saints. Second Corinthians 5 and from verse number 13 says that if any man now be in Christ, he is a new creation. The old things have passed away and now they are new. I thank God that I'm a new creation and I know you're a new creation. Stay tuned as we are about to begin. God bless. Amen, amen, amen. Wow, what an introduction. We thank God. We thank God. So, uh, Apostle Jere. Yes. Uh, we've been with Minister Bonnie Glorious, yes. the glory, yes. and uh, Minister Freddy Sky Blessing. Yes. Uh, these are your good brothers. I yes, know you yes, know yes, them. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and we've been having a topic, mm -hmm. Christ being the focus of the whole Bible. Wow, praise the Lord. So we have been telling people that the Bible is not a storybook mm -hmm. that, that, that has many topics mm -hmm. in it, that has many themes yes. in it. Yes. The Bible from Genesis yes. You come all the way to the prophets yes. and then come to the historic message of Christ yes. and then after that we come to the epistles mm -hmm. and the revelation of John. Mm -hmm. All of it mm -hmm. has been speaking about one person mm -hmm. and that person is Christ. Wow, so that has been the message generally mm -hmm. and uh, we want to hear from you today. Wow. <laughs> you know, as I was, I was listening to you guys, I was really blessed. Yes, sir. One thing that came to my mind, yes. you know, the Bible says that I am the way, Jesus said. Yes, sir. Jesus was telling these people, I am the way. Yes. I am the truth. Yes. And I'm the life. Yes, sir. You know what that, uh, that, mean, uh, that, that means? Uh -huh. It means that in me there is a way. Yes. You don't go to the Bible looking for the way. Wow. If wow. you want to know the real way, wow. I am the way to yes, the sir. Father. <laughs> Please don't go to the Father without passing through me because you won't see that the Father himself. Wow. So, I am the way to the Father. Yes. Number two, I am the truth. Wow. Anything you have had, mm -hmm. not from me. It's not the truth. Wow. And again, mm -hmm. he's saying, I am the life. Yes, sir. I am the one who gives you life. Yes. The Bible says that I have come that they may have life. life. Yes. And life in abundance. Yes, sir. So to receive the God kind of life yes. and to receive the abundance of the life of God wow. in you, yes. then you have to receive from me. So there is no truth. Yes, sir. There is no life. Yes. There is no way yes. apart from me. Meaning that everything that a man would always talk about. Yes. Think about, mm -hmm. see by himself, yes. walk, mm -hmm. or even do anything. It's all about me. Wow. So I am the message yes. from the talking, yes. from the hearing, wow. from the believing. <laughs> so I believe that. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, sir. Yes, yes. That, that is so powerful. Yes. He is the way. He is the, the truth, truth and he is the life. Yes. From Genesis to Revelation. Yes. And in fact, you, you are concurring with us mm -hmm. when we are reading the book of Hebrews chapter yes. 1. Yes. The Bible says that in different revelations, mm -hmm. portions mm -hmm. of truth yes. about Christ wow. were revealed mm -hmm. continually mm -hmm. by, the, by, by God yes. through our fathers yes. and the prophets. Wow. So, and then Christ Jesus comes and uh, speaks to the disciples. Yes. Uh, here we have a scenario, a very good scenario, mm -hmm. uh, about these guys, uh, Jesus has already died, mm -hmm. he has been crucified, mm -hmm. and then these people do not know that Christ has rose again. Mm -hmm. So they are just hearing some tufununus. Yes. The guy that was married the other day is not, not being found. Like, <laughs> what, what do you have to ski? 
Kuna mtu hapa around. Inasemekana he died. Yes. Ate alifufuka. Kwanza akazikwa na sasa amefufuka. Now we thought that this guy yes uh, he will come to save us yes. in fact he had not risen according yes, sir. to them yes sir and you know they were busy uh, speaking to jesus about jesus yes <laughs> meaning that yet you can be here uh-huh. listening to god uh-huh. and yet you don't know god wow you're listening so to the, wow so these people uh-huh. they are there preaching to jesus you can just imagine preaching to jesus about jesus yes sir and you expect jesus you know <laughs> I, i love how jesus so i was like so jesus was like mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so what yeah. about this man tell me he is a martyr he is the best person he has never <laughs> killed anyone in fact he gave people bread you remember yes <laughs> my shoes were on home he received the same same bread yes so everyone was like so this good guy where will we get this good guy another guy like this one but they, their eyes Wow, wow, I like that. Yes. Now we start to speak to them in the book of uh, Luke chapter 24 yes. verse 25. Mm-hmm. After preaching to Jesus Christ, yes. they are preaching to Christ about him. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Then now Christ comes and tells them. Then he said to them, "O oh, foolish ones mm. and slow of heart to believe." You know, t- today I want us to look at this word, yes. to believe, you know? <laughs> Because the message, yes. the Bible, yes. the message of the Bible from Genesis to Revelation mm-hmm. Is not an intellectual message. Yes. It is not a message we try to reason mm-hmm. out. Mm-hmm. It is a message of faith. Yes. But we shall get there as yes. we continue yes. Apostle Jerry. Mm-hmm. So he tells them uh, you are you are foolish ones mm-hmm. and you are slow o- yeah verse 25. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh foolish ones mm-hmm. and slow of heart to mm-hmm. believe mm-hmm. in all that the prophets have, have spoken. spoken. Mm-hmm. Now he tells them ought not Christ to have suffered these things? and enter into his glory 27 says and beginning at Moses mm-hmm. and all the prophets mm-hmm. he expounded to them in all the scriptures the things, the things concerning himself so these guys they were talking to Jesus about himself mm-hmm. then Jesus tells them you guys you are foolish if you understood Moses and the prophets and the psalms mm-hmm. and all the scriptures that are there in the old testament you would have known that christ mm-hmm. was to suffer these things mm-hmm. and come into his glory mm-hmm. so that he would save you yes. but you are foolish and slow of heart why mm-hmm. because you did not believe what do you think about that sir so the problem is believing yes you know moses mm-hmm. preached the gospel of christ yes sir in types mm-hmm. in shadows wow in dreams yes in all these things he began uh-huh. to teach them yes. you won't see the word jesus wow. g e s u s yes sir but you will see jesus in types yes sir for example in the old covenant in the book of numbers mm. these guys have sinned yes they have walked in rebellion yes sir. they have walked in disobedience <laughs> yes sir and th- this this time round There are these serpents they have come uh-huh. all over all over all over all over yes, all over Azote, you know they are they are biting they are biting them and you know pe- these people are like Moses did you know that these people are not talking to God directly mm-hmm. they were talking to God through Moses, through Moses so yes, they sir. were taking Moses as their own god wow. but God never wanted them to see Moses they wanted him to see him yes. so he tried all the way possible yes, sir. that it's not about Moses yes. it's about me it's not about <laughs> you know these things and wow. you know walikuwa wanaumo very serious yes sir but god told them god told moses i want you to lift one of the serpent yes sir up yes he who will see the serpent yes, the focus sir. should be on the serpent yes sir the focus should be on the serpent yes and look at this when the serpent ilinuliwa ju wow. everyone had to look on the serpent mm. and the next thing they were saved Wow. Look at the, uh, John 3 and from verse 14. Mm. It says just as Moses lifted up the serpent, serpent, the son of God is lifted up. Wow. So all these things God wanted them to believe in him and to behold in him. Wow. Because when you behold in him, I know there are things in this life. Yes sir. I know there are frustrations, yes. there are discouragement, yes. there are things that are coming all over to make sure that you are discouraged. Yes. But guess what? Your mind should not be on, on those things. things. Yes sir. See those things uh-huh. that are from they are back. Yes sir. And look at this when they looked at the serpent yes. the next thing yes. they were saved. Wow. So I will say the thing about uh believe. Yes sir. Ian, if you don't believe in Christ Jesus mm. you will not 
be a thinker, you will not walk in these things. Yes, you sir. won't see the things that Christ has done to yes, you. Sir. Because it's all about believing. Yes, sir. John 3, 16, it says, Whosoever must be, whosoever now believes mm-hmm. in the Son. You know, I have loved the world. Yes. I have given my Son. Yes. Whosoever now believes in my Son yes, shall sir. not perish, wow. but shall have everlasting life. Wow. The reason that's why they were perishing yes. is because they were in unbelief. Wow. So, unbelief, uh-huh. once people walk in unbelief, yes, sir. let me tell you something, mm. they won't see that the goodness of the Lord. Yes, Why sir. do people see the nature of God differently? Mm. Simply because they don't believe in Him. Wow. Simply because they walk in, uh, they, they walk in disobedience. Yes, sir. And you know, in disobedience, you cannot see the goodness of the Lord. Wow. So it's all about, I, I will say about believing, mm-hmm. Jesus is ushering us to believe. Amen. In fact, John 3, 16, he said, whosoever now believes mm. shall not perish. Yes, sir. So even they that are perishing, yes. they are they that have, have refused to believe. They have not believed. Wow. The same same thing. People will go to hell. Yes. Yes. But take this. Mm-hmm. People are not going to hell because of what they do. Aha. Wow. wow. They are going to hell because uh-huh. they 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 rejected Christ. Yes. CC to me, you remember they resist thing. Yes, resist. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> you know, sir. So because they don't believe, yes. you cannot you cannot receive everything from me. Yes. For example, I have a father and I have a mother. Uh-huh. If I don't believe in my father, yes. let me tell you, everything that my father has, I don't receive it. Wow. Because number one, I am in doubt. Mm-hmm. I don't believe he is the son of God. Mm-hmm. I don't believe and I be, and I believe that's why in Luke 24 they had a problem. Yes. Because they didn't believe what Jesus spoke before. Wow. Because Jesus has already spoken before. Yes. And he had said that I will die. Yes. I will die. He had even told And after three days, yes. I will rise from the dead. Will, Look wow. at Peter. Yes. He is hearing Jesus has, uh, uh, has risen from the dead. Uh-huh. The next thing, cooking beer, beer, I wanted to confirm for my <laughs> you know. Yet he had he, told them he had that told I will raise. They did not believe. Thomas is even in the business of uh, show me. No, Jesus is even here. Yes. Show me. We <laughs> say. If they are going to believe you, me, I won't believe you. So Jeremiah, yes. it's like, Thomas was like, I am seated in front of you, yes. but you don't believe this is me. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine. Wow. They had to see. Yes. No wonder Jesus is, is, uh, told him, blessed are they yes. that believe without, without sin. Wow. And God wants us to walk in that direction. Wow. Believe in me. Yes. I don't need to speak a word for you to it, believe. Yes, sir. Just believe in me. Mm-hmm. Then the same thing happened to Peter. He saw Jesus walking on the water. Yes, sir. And he said, if you are the one, I am trying to believe. Wow. And he walked. Yes. Jesus said, come. And he began to walk on water. Yes. And as he was walking on the water. Yes. Walking on the water. Physics. Take mm. idea. How can you walk on water? How can you walk on water? <laughs> Bow and <laughs> see. <laughs> Have a mother in the law. How sure am I? If I continue like this, I want to drink. I have this, I have this, I have this. I have the boat. I have all these things and began to drink. But look at this. Yes. I love Jesus. Mm. We have his own faith. Mm-hmm. So I will say, God has Wait, told us. You've said we have his own faith. We have his own faith. Wow. Uh-huh. So because I have his own faith, yes, sir. let me believe in him. Wow. If I believe in him, I will walk on water. It is not our faith. So I will say, it's yes, not sir. about our faith. Mm. Ephesians 2 and from verse 8 it says, For by grace are you saved mm-hmm. through faith, mm-hmm. which is in Christ Jesus. Yes, and sir. that's not of your own. Mm-hmm. It is the gift of God. Wow. Even the faith that you have, it's not yours. Yes. You don't even love yourself. Whoa. How can you have faith for yourself? Uh, you don't even believe in yourself. Are you telling me I don't love myself? <laughs> <laughs> you don't even believe in yourself. So if you don't believe in yourself, you don't even believe in yourself. Yes. How will you believe in him? So wow. he wants you to believe in him. Then he's using his own faith. Wow. No wonder the Bible says, even when you're faithless, mm. I remain to be faithful. He remains so, faithful. Faith, I think, believing, I think it's the main thing. Here. Wow. Yes. So, okay. Mm-hmm. So we have, we have concluded that yes. Christ was actually the yes. message yes. of the scriptures from the very beginning. Yes. The problem with these guys yes. was faith. Yes. But, you know, I want, I want, I want us to take that direction <laughs> as we also... Uh, see Christ yes. in the Old Testament wow. as we also look at Christ in the in the Old Covenant. Mm-hmm. Now, uh, when we jump from Luke chapter 24 verse 27 yes. and we go all through to Luke chapter 24 verse 44. Uh, it is something that we looked at, uh, with, we looked at, at, with, at with Bonnie and mm-hmm. Freddie and I also want to hear your side of the, wow. of the matter. Wow. The Bible says, now this is Jesus. He yes. says, 44, verse 44. He said, yes. Then he said to them, These are the words which I spoke to you while I was still with you. 
that is that is what you've told us that all these things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and the prophets and the Psalms concerning me he says and he opened their understanding that they might comprehend the scriptures then he said to them thus it is written it was necessary for Christ to have suffered and to raise from the dead in the third day Yes. and that repentance and remission of sins should be preached in his name to all nations beginning at, Je at Jerusalem. And you, you people, you are the witnesses of these things. So first, I want to hear this from you. Everything Jesus taught after his resurrection yes. was concerning himself yes. according to the scriptures. Yes. And the reason this is, is because the scriptures... They were talking of him. You know, yes. the Bible uses the word expound. Yes. He expounded to them. Explained. Thank you, sir. Opened the brackets. Yes. yes. So it, it is like this thing was hidden. Yes. It, was, it is me that I'm in those scriptures, mm -hmm. but they are hidden in such a way that in your, in your normal minds, yes. you cannot get it. Mm -hmm. Then the Bible says now Jesus comes yes. and starts expounding to them concerning himself, mm -hmm. because he was the message. Meaning that he went through the, the, the scriptures yes. to explain. Himself. This is what I was saying, this is what it was. About. Wow. Mm -hmm. And you know what I'm, what I'm, what I'm amazed? The mm -hmm. Bible says, mm -hmm. all the scriptures, yes. all the scriptures, yes. no, not, not, not a part of the scriptures, mm -hmm. not Genesis alone, mm -hmm. not uh, Isaiah mm -hmm. alone, all the scriptures. Yes. What do you think about that, sir? Wow. You know, let me tell you something. Yes, sir. As a believer, that's mm -hmm. whether we have faith. Yes, sir. As a believer, this thing was written to them. Yes. But they were not to be understood until Jesus himself could come. Wow. Wow. And so Jesus came to expound to them. Mm -hmm. And how are we now getting to this revelation and knowing it? Yes, sir. It's because now we have the mind of Christ. Wow. Oh, wow. In the inside <laughs> of us. Wow. And because we have now the mind of Christ. You remember when you were in school yes, sir. and you have this mathematics. Uh -huh. In the real sense, there is no mathematics that you can do without the formula. <laughs> without the formula. No matter how you <laughs> might try to, to get the X yeah. from there. Where did, where did you the don't X know go? The formula, yeah? <laughs> you don't know. I remember the teachers were like, uh -huh. okay, let's begin from formula. Uh -huh. This is this, this is it, this is it, yes, this sir. is it. If you don't get this, yes. forget about it. If you, get, if you don't get the formula forget about it. of finding the X, yes, yes. you will never find the X. When, when, in the chemistry, if you don't get the periodic table, <laughs> yes. even when you go to the wrong place, <laughs> you will not get anything. Yeah? Yes, sir. Why? Yeah. Because it's all about the formula. Yes. But now that we have the mind of Christ, wow. now we can understand mm -hmm. that now when Moses was speaking about blood on the post, mm -hmm. it was not just about the blood. Mm -hmm. It was about the man Jesus. Wow. How? The Bible says that at Pentecost there was blood. Yes, the, the angel of death, death yes. could not come near. Yes, sir. Why? Because it's not about the people inside. Uh, uh. It is about the blood. The, wow, wow. In the inside. Wow. So the Bible says that in Peter, yes. it was just passing. Yes. You know, the Passover. Yes, sir. The Passover. Mm. The Passover. So when you walk in it. It could not be. Why? Because it was the blood. Blood on the post. Yes, sir. The Bible says that there is no salvation mm -hmm. without the shedding of blood. Yes, sir. So it was until the shedding of blood. Yes. You know, the, the, the Noah thing, the, the ark thing. Yes. It was all about Christ Jesus. Yes, sir. And how do we know? The Bible says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Uh -huh. The righteous run to, run to it and they are so saved. The ark wow. was Christ himself. Uh -huh. When you run unto him, you are saved. Wow. Not today, not tomorrow, but forever. Wow. So what are we saying here? We are saying that now let's run unto it yes, and sir. we are saved. Yes, sir. Samuel brought something else. Mm. Jeremiah said, Is these words will be written in the heart. Yes, in the heart of men. And this was the heart of God. Wow. <laughs> this was the heart of God. Yes. He says this, his name now yes. shall be called a mighty cancer. Yes, sir. He will be an everlasting father. Yes. He will be, you know, uh, the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. Yes. John the Baptist says, No, here comes now. Now we have you. <laughs> can know ah how uh -huh. these old covenant things yes they were not about the stories uh -huh. that were happening yes it sir. was all about christ himself. yes sir and i will say this minister here yes sir you know for us to understand christ yes sir 
and to understand the whole covenant yes. and to understand the the word yes sir we need to know that this is all about Christ yes, sir. in the old covenant it was re- uh, concealed yes. but now it is revealed it is revealed and how is it revealed it is revealed by Christ himself yes you know our eyes are now enlightened yes sir the bible says that the eyes of your understanding being enlightened yes sir because when your eyes are enlightened you can see yes. for example if even today you go outside there now you decide to look at the sun directly yes directly when listen. you look the other places yes. you will see darkness. Yes. Jesus wants us to see him. Yes. When you see him, mm. you won't see any other thing. Yes. Right? Because the, your eyes are enlightened. Yes. Sir. The Bible says that even now when Moses is read, mm. the veil, the veil, it's only your eyes. Yes, sir. The veil. Yeah. But what makes the veil equal like um in metal level? Yes, sir. It's when the gospel mm-hmm. of truth. Of truth yes. That is Christ Jesus yes. has come unto us. Yes. When we believe in the word, yes. therefore we can see. Wow. So yes. you are saying, sir, yes. when you when when the when the light mm. of the gospel of Christ has dawned on your heart, yes. now you can look back yes. to the old covenant yes. and see Christ all through. In fact, it is said that mm-hmm. this is true. You cannot understand the old covenant by reading the new co- old covenant. Wow. But you will understand the old covenant yes. by now reading the new covenant yes. with the glasses yes. of the finished work. Wow. The finished work of Christ. Yes, sir. The, because your eyes are, can now see. Yes. And what do you see? You see as he sees. Wow. As he sees. You think as he thinks. You have now the mind of wow. Christ. Wow. Because uh, the, yes. the mind is of Christ. Yes. And the light that is helping me see is, yes. is Christ. So it, it meaning yes. that it is Christ that is seen through you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. Yes. Oh my God. Praise God. <laughs> yes. I, I love the word. I love the word too. Yeah. Now, <laughs> now, I want us to see another. You, you've spoken about types and shadows. Yes. And uh, these are the, we can call them illustrations. Yes. And uh, another, another word for uh-huh. illustrations mm-hmm. is the word parables. Yes. Parables, we have, we have come to see them yes. with Christ. Mm-hmm. But even before Christ came, it was prophesied mm-hmm. that he will teach using parables. Mm-hmm. And the Bible gives us the reason why he was to teach mm-hmm. using parables. Mm-hmm. I want us to go to the book of Psalms, chapter 78. Psalms 78, Psalms 78, 78. verse 2. Mm-hmm. The Bible says, mm-hmm. this is Psalms. 78, mm-hmm. verse 2. Psalms chapter 78, verse 2, mm-hmm. those who are following. Mm-hmm. The Bible says, this is a Psalm of David. Mm-hmm. I will open my mouth in a parable, mm-hmm. and I will utter dark sayings Mm. of old Mm. which we have had Mm -hmm. and known Mm -hmm. and our fathers Ah. have told us now then jesus comes in the book of matthew chapter 13 Mm -hmm. first let us read the scriptures then we 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 explain and the disciples come to jesus after jesus has given a parable and the disciples ask and jesus and the disciples came and said to him matthew chapter 13 verse 10 Mm -hmm. Why do you speak to them in mm-hmm. parables? You will understand why, they are, why the disciples are, are telling Christ, mm-hmm. you speak to them. Mm-hmm. Because when it so came... this was the question. Yes, asked. yes. Good. When it comes to the disciples, yes. Jesus did not speak to them mm-hmm. using parables. Yes. But when it came to the, the congregation, yes. Jesus spoke to them yeah. using parables. Mm-hmm. Now the disciples come and ask, why do you use parables when you are speaking to them? Mm-hmm. Jesus answered and says, mm-hmm. Because it has been given to you mm-hmm. to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, yes. but to them yes. it has not been yes. given. Yes. For whoever yes. has, to him more will be given, wow. and he will have ab- in abundance. Mm-hmm. But whoever does not have, even that which he has mm-hmm. will be taken away from him. Yes. Now Jesus explains and says mm-hmm. that in, therefore, I speak to them in parables because seeing they do not see and hearing they do not hear nor do they understand and in them the prophecy of Isaiah is is fulfilled which says hearing you will hear and you will not understand Uh and seeing you will see and not perceive for the hearts of these people have grown dull their ears are hard of hearing, 
and their eyes have been closed. Uh, they have closed, lest they should see with their eyes, hear with their ears, lest they should understand with their hearts and turn, so that I should heal them. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, because they hear. For assuredly I say to you that many prophets and righteous men desired to see what you see and hear what you hear, and they did not hear it. So Jesus is telling us the reason he used parables and in parables I not only want us to look at the parables that Jesus gave. We've seen that parables are illustrations. Yes. It is using an, a, an, an everyday experience, an example of everyday mm -hmm. to explain a spiritual truth yes. or a spiritual experiences. Mm -hmm. So these parables Jesus was not the first one to use them. Mm -hmm. They have been used all over yes. the old covenant yes. to show Christ, but in, a, in illustrations that they would understand. Mm -hmm. For example, you have given us an example. Moses pointed them to a brazen snake mm -hmm. on top, of a, on top of, a, of, a, of a tree or a, or a cross. Mm -hmm. And in other words, he's telling them, look at Christ. But because these people are dull of hearing and understanding, the, Moses chooses to use a brazen serpent instead of directly telling them yes. that is Christ. Forget about all this. Yes, sir. And focus on, and focus on Christ. Yes. So, sir, what do you think about that? Jesus was using the examples and him being in types and shadows in the Old Covenant. Let me tell you something. Yes, sir. Parables are used for children. Oh, wow. 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 <laughs> yes, sir. You know, for children to understand what you are saying, yes. you have, that's why we have got cartoons. Oh, cartoons, yes, sir. Mm. Why do we give kids cartoons? Mm. Because these things are childish mm -hmm. and they are, okay, there is a lesson to be learned. Yes, sir. <laughs> but for you to understand the lesson that is in the cartoon, yes, sir. just watch the cartoon. Wow. Number two, yes. these people were non believers. Yes, sir. If you go to non-believers right now yes. and begin to preach to them about Christ yes, sir. and go with some huge words, yes, sir. they won't believe. Uh -huh. No wonder the Bible says that the things of the Spirit, yes, they sir. are foolishness wow. to them yes, sir. because they don't believe. Mm. So it was for them because they didn't believe. Wow. And if you look at all the parables that Jesus was giving, yes, sir. it was giving to show them that you have been you have been moved from this place yes to, to this place. place yes from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom to of the kingdom light. of light so parables were to show them that there is something yes, that you need to know yes but you cannot understand it uh, as it is yes in fact you remember uh, uh this parable of the uh, this guy yes who went to uh, this guy uh, who found the people yes and this uh, and uh, these dads mm -hmm. robbers yes they fought him yes and they beat almost him. to death yes you know in real sense there was nothing like that uh -huh. wow <laughs> no, <laughs> it is not something that there happens. was nothing like that uh -huh. jesus is just that yes where has he gotten all these stories <laughs> from he has the thousands of stories yes sir. where has he gotten these good stories yes. from? but he wanted to show them this that there is this person mm -hmm. who is a sinner mm -hmm. who is looking for help yes and there is no one to give him help yes sir and the people who can give him help yes is they that are not of his sight wow wow these are people who are not for his sight yes and these are the demons wow you know? wow yes sir so he is giving an example the people that these people are thinking that they could help him yes number one is the law of moses the law of moses you remember the, the first guy yes. who came, the uh -huh. Levites. Yes. And you know the Levites were the people who gave the yes. law. Yes, sir. So these people, they could not help. Yes. The second person, this uh, the second person who came was a priest. Yes. The priest, the priest who order, yes. could not help. They could not help him. It will be to a hufunik and dhambi yes, and all these things. Yes, sir. He tried to show them uh -huh. that the help that you need yes. is not from the law of Moses. It's not in the law. That which you think that it is the most important. Yes, sir. It's not from the priesthood. It's not from the priesthood. Day. Yes. It's from Jesus himself. Wow. And you know these people could ask questions from that. Mm -hmm. So what happened to this guy? The <laughs> so what happened? To the, so so what happened? Uh -huh. This guy because the law could not help him. Yes. Because the priest could not help him. Yes, sir. There was this person who came. Yes. That was not of his kind. That was not of his kind. Yes. 
He came with a donkey. Yeah. <laughs> he came with a donkey. He poured some oil. Yes. To this person. Yes, sir. You know, that was the healing process. Yes, sir. Of this person who has not received Christ. Yes. Then he took this person on top of his donkey. Yes. He went to the hospital. Yes, sir. He left that person, uh -huh. you know, to be taken care of. Yes. All these things, it was to tell them that you need salvation. And, and the Bible yes. says, after yes. three days, yes. he came back. To look for the person. Wow. His death, burial, and resurrection. resurrection. <laughs> so, you people, you just need, you know, the, the Bible says, yes. uh, bring the heavy luggage. Yes. Unto me, and I'll give, I'll give them rest. And I'll give you rest. Yes. You know, those were the burdens. Mm. And Jesus was the one who was to give us rest. Wow. Let us labor. Yes. Let us pay attention. Yes. To enter, enter into, into this into rest. His rest. Yes, sir. How do we enter into his rest? Mm. By believing in what Christ did. Yes. But the parable, yes. but these people, they could not, they could not, they are. Yes. Yes. They could not get this. Wow. Their mind could not get this. Yes. But for them to get this, yes. Jesus had to, you know, this is a small kid. Mm. You don't give a kid, you know, from from one day yes. to six months. Yes. You just give this kid a meal. Milk. A meal. You don't give him food. You don't give him food. Yes, sir. Why? If you give him food, he will die. <laughs> you don't feel like yes. Go and give him food. <laughs> then after six months, yes. he introduced not only food, yeah. but food that is, that looks so 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 soft. very good. Very soft. Yes. After two years, mm. please begin introducing some together to this guy. Now some this hard food. Yes. yes. So for so Jesus to preach to them this gospel, for yes. he had to use all these things. People, yes. These people are non-believers. Yes, and you know there are people who are used to work with Jesus. Uh -huh. And they were unbelievers. In fact, no, there was no believer. Yeah. There was no believer. No one was born again. <laughs> no one was born again. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. In including the Pharisees that were around. Even the but disciples. For, even the disciples himself. Yes. No one could, no, no one was saved. Yes. So he had to use the parables. Yes. But it was for some time. For some time. It was for some So parables mm -hmm. are not for believers. Wow. Uh -huh. They are for non-believers. Yes. Once they come to the reality of the gospel, yes. you know now they have the spirit of God yes, inside of them. Yes, sir. And the spirit of God bears witness with them yes. that what you are hearing, yes. it is the truth. Yes, sir. So I will say that parables were important, mm -hmm. but for non-believers. Wow. But as they come to the knowledge of Christ, mm -hmm. no wonder Paul never gave any parable. Wow. Because wow. he was preaching wow. to the believers. So, sir, you mean? Yes. That the types and shadows, yes. even in the old covenant, yes. let alone the parables yes. of Jesus, yes. even the types and shadows in the Old Testament, mm -hmm. they were important yes. for some time yes. for them to That's understand. It. Yes. Wow. After you have come to the knowledge of Christ, yes. then maturity begins. Yes. Paul is praying to them that desire yes. sincere milk. Wow. Desire to grow. Yes, He's sir. telling them, grow in the knowledge of yes, Christ. Sir. Yes, yes. Wow, wow, wow. wow. We have had a very nice flow, yeah. but we need to go for a break yes. and we are going to come back and continue with why Christ used parables to teach. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Welcome back to the Beholders Chat, and you are with me, Ian Commander Royalty, and my brother, Apostle Jeremiah Blessing, and we are talking about Christ being the focus of the whole Bible. Wow. wow. So, wow. sir, before the break, we were speaking about uh, the reason why Jesus used parables, mm -hmm. and the reason why in the Old Covenant it was important for the writers or the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. because we know the Holy Spirit is the author of yes, the Bible, yes. to use types mm -hmm. and shadows mm -hmm. to show Christ. Yes. And we have seen it is because mm -hmm. these men, they could not understand yes. the message in its, in its, in its fullness. Yes. They could not, they, could not uh, they were like children. Mm -hmm. They could not receive the meat. Mm -hmm. But you have said, this, this winning, it's called winning, is mm -hmm. the, uh, the giving children milk. Yes. It is only for a short time. Yes. So that now after that time is over, yes. you start introducing this uh, child mm -hmm. from the age of two years mm -hmm. with now good food. Mm -hmm. And now, uh, the Bible says, yes. I want to take it from, uh, we, so we have said that illustrations are using everyday examples mm -hmm. to illustrate 
spiritual truths. Yes. Now the Bible says, mm-hmm. from the foundation of the world, mm-hmm. I will read it right now, yes. in the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32, Deuteronomy verse 32. 20. Mm-hmm. We want to see the reason God mm-hmm. needed to use parables or dark sayings mm-hmm or these examples Mm -hmm. to teach these people about Christ. Mm -hmm. uh, Deuteronomy chapter 32 verse 20 says, Mm -hmm. God said, Mm -hmm. I will hide my face from them. Mm -hmm. I will see Mm -hmm. that, I will see what their end will be. Mm -hmm. For they are perverse generation, Mm -hmm. children in whom Mm -hmm. there is no faithfulness. Mm -hmm. Exodus 32 verse 9 and 10 says, Mm -hmm. And the Lord said to Moses, Mm -hmm. I have seen that these people Mm -hmm. are of a stubborn heart. Mm -hmm. Now, let me explain this. God is saying through Moses Mm -hmm. that these children of Israelites, Mm -hmm. they are of hard hearts. Mm -hmm. They are Mm stiff-necked. Kichwangumu. Yes, very. So what I will do, Mm -hmm. instead of giving myself directly to them, fully, instead of showing myself fully, Mm -hmm. To them, the way I am, mm-hmm. I'm going to hide my face from them. Mm-hmm. I will hide myself mm-hmm. behind examples, illustrations, mm-hmm. types, mm-hmm. shadows. Mm-hmm. I will hide myself mm-hmm. so that they will not see me directly mm-hmm. for who I am. Mm-hmm. And I want us to look at, at the reason. The reason God is saying this. He's saying because they have not believed me. Yes. And I want to show you where that is. Yes. In the book of Hebrews, mm-hmm. Chapter 4. Mm-hmm. I want us to run there. Mm-hmm. The Bible says, mm-hmm. and now this one amazed me. Mm-hmm. When I was reading this book, it amazed me. Mm-hmm. For indeed, the same gospel being preached to you was preached to them as well. Mm-hmm. But the word which they had mm-hmm. did not profit them, mm-hmm. not being mixed with faith mm-hmm. in those who had it. Mm-hmm. So the problem was faith. Yes. And that is what we began by saying. Yes. So the same gospel that we are preaching to these people today, mm-hmm. the same gospel that is being preached in the churches today, mm-hmm. now revealed, now yes. Christ being revealed, yes. the same gospel was preached to them. Yes. But since there was no faith in them, mm-hmm. since faith, since there was the, 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 the word was not mixed with faith, mm-hmm. they did not receive it and it did not profit them mm-hmm. as it profits us today. Mm-hmm. What will you say that about that, sir? Wow. I am so blessed. I'm so I'm so blessed with, with this. Yes, sir. You know, <laughs> let me tell you something. Yes, sir. You know, Jesus is the perfect example yes. of Christ yes. himself. Yes. These people they could not understand simply because they did not know the nature of God. Yes, sir. They did not know the nature of God. Yes, sir. And once you don't know the nature of God, you may not get the real thing. Yes, sir. You may not know what is it all about mm-hmm. for example the prophets mm-hmm. spoke yes they desired in yes. fact where we have just read yes the prophets desired yes to get and this to understand this to thing. understand this yes but it was not for the attack. it was not for them it was not for them mm. it was for the in fact the bible uh, the, 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 the word says that it was it was until yes the manifestations of sons wow it was to be revealed yes. in the manifestations of sons in fact the bible and, says yes until faith has come yes and we know who is faith jesus christ yes sir until faith has come yes and you know these people used to prophesy things and they didn't understand yes sir. you know i get sometimes mad when I hear people saying that these are the days of Elijah, and I'm like, guys, do you know that Elijah desired to see our days? Wow. In fact, the Bible says, and Abraham, mm-hmm. our father, yes. the father of faith, yes. the Bible says, and Abraham desired to see the, these days of the manifestations of sons. Yes. And he was happy. Yes. And how did he see it mm-hmm. when he was with Isaac yes, at sir. the mountain? Wow. And he realized, ah, it was not about me giving sacrifice no. To, uh, to, uh, to, to Isaac. Uh-huh. It was all about God's own sheep, God's own provision. God's own sacrifice. And God was like, Abraham, I am not leaning on your own understanding. Yes, sir. I am not leaning on what you know what or you what doing. you can do for me. Yes, sir. I have my own plan. Yes, In fact, the Bible says when Isaac, uh, uh, 
I, I, Isaac asked, Father, we have this, we have this, we have this, we have the firewoods. Mm -hmm. Oh, where do we get the sheep? Mm -hmm. I, uh, where, where do we get the sacrifice? Yes, sir. And Abraham said, the Lord will provide for himself, for himself, for himself yes. at his own appointed mountain. mountain. Wow. <laughs> at his own appointed mountain. Yes, and you know what he was trying to say is that the Lord, God himself will provide Jesus yes. at his own time. Yes. At his own time. Yes, sir. And the Bible says, and Abraham tried to give a sacrifice, and you know, and the Bible says, and God said, Abraham, stop. Yes, sir. Here is the sheep. Wow. Here is the sheep. Wow. It is God who, who uh, it is God who provides. Mm -hmm. It is God who gives. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Amen. And when you get this, you realize, ah, Mm -hmm. So these things were not to us. Yes, sir. They, they, it was not for them, yes. but it was to for us. us. And for us to understand it, mm -hmm. it's so unfortunate that you, you know, some people are living in our days, mm -hmm. and and until now they don't understand that these things were written for our favor. Wow, they were written for our you benefits. You want to you want to live the the the, the, uh, the kind of life that these people live. Yes, where are these people? lived our days like for example david lived our days yes. and he rejoiced wow. because he realized oh it is not about this it's wow. not about this it's all about christ yes sir. so one thing i will say mm -hmm. is that this thing was written for our favor yes. it was written for our good yes and god has made it possible mm. for us wow. to enjoy yes sir so the uh, the prophets could not understand yes sir the priests could not understand yes sir the law of moses could not understand yes. all these things yes sir but it was appointed yes for us for us to understand yes. it yes the bible says until faith should come yes and now we have received faith yes in form of a person yes and that person is Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Wow, I am loving this. He lives and now yes. he lives in the inside of us. Yes, sir. Remember in the days of John the Baptist? Mm -hmm. John the Baptist, yes, he was the greatest prophet. Why? Because he saw him. He These saw him. Were saying, yes. uh, were saying, Thou sayest the Lord. Yes. Thou sayest the Lord. This and this will happen. Thou sayest the Lord. But now uh, John is saying, Here comes he that takes away. Yes, sir. Takes away. Taking mm -hmm. away the sins of men. Yes, sir. How much more to us? To us is not he that comes to take away. Uh -huh. He lives in the inside of he us. He lives in us. So wow. I live the life of God. Yes, sir. Now. Wow. No wonder now I can understand mm. these things that were written. Yes, sir. To them. Wow. Yes, yes. You, you know, sir. Yes. Wow. I, I'm loving this message. Yes. There's something that 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 Isaiah, mm -hmm. one of the prophets, says. Mm -hmm. He comes in the book of Isaiah, chapter 53. Yes. And he speaks about Christ in the whole mm -hmm. chapter. Yes. And as he is ending it, yes. he says, "Let him with an ear hear, hear yes. what the Spirit of God Say is saying." Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? Let him with an ear hear, because previously he had said, "Yes, you have not received these things mm -hmm. because you are your eyes don't see, yes, and your ears do not hear." Mm -hmm. But blessed are they whose eyes see yes. and whose ears hear wow. of this truth of Christ. You know, mm -hmm. this message, yes, let he that has ears, yes. let him hear. Yes. He was referring to the new creation of man. Wow. And faith comes mm -hmm. by hearing, yes. and not only hearing, yes, sir. but hearing the word, of his grace. Wait, sir. Yes. You said faith comes yes. by hearing. And not only hearing, uh -huh. hearing the word of his grace. And we have seen in the book of Hebrews chapter 4 yes. that the problem yes. with these people, yes. it is because the words that they had uh -huh. were, were not mixed by, were not mixed with faith in yes. them. Yes, yes, it was, there was no faith. So the problem in the old covenant, uh -huh. the reason God used parables, uh -huh. types, uh -huh. shadows, uh -huh. Is because these people had not faith. They did not have faith in them. And now Isaiah is telling them, "He that has ears, now hear." Because you have the capability yes. of hearing. Now you have. Wow. You have the capability of hearing. Wow. So pay attention. Yes, sir. He told uh, Joshua in one of our episodes. Maybe you can go to Wema TV and look at it. Yes. He is telling Joshua, and this book of the law. Yes. Shall not. Yes, sir. Depart from your mouth. Yes. You shall meditate it a day and night. In a night. You know, paying attention yes. to that which you have heard. Yes. You know, and this thing, let me tell you something. God has done everything in Christ Jesus. Yes, sir. And all the promises of God, they have been fulfilled in Christ Jesus. Yes, sir. Therefore, we bring our amen. Wow. How do we bring our amen? Uh -huh. Because we have heard. Wow. And because we have heard. Yes. Therefore, we not only hear, 
Now we speak this thing. Wow. One day, these people took Peter and told Peter, you know what, Peter? After this, tutakufunga. Yeah. And you know, Peter told them, after all I have heard. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the, the issue was what I have heard. After all that I have heard. Yes, sir. And after all that I have seen, yes. I have no other option than to preach Christ. If I do not preach the gospel, <laughs> I am doomed. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Now, you know, sir, we are coming to the end of this broadcast. Yes. And wow, we have learned so much. Yes. And uh, before, before I give you an opportunity to close yes. And, yes. and to tell us your, your, final, yes. your final word, yes. there's something Romans, <laughs> Paul tells us in the book of Romans chapter 1, verse 20. Romans 1 and 4, verse number 20. He says, mm -hmm. for since the creation of the world, yes. his invisible attributes mm -hmm. are clearly seen being understood by the things that are made, wow. even his eternal power mm -hmm. and Godhead, mm -hmm. so that they are without excuse. Mm -hmm. So, if you read the book of Romans chapter 1, yes. Paul is speaking about Christ. Mm -hmm. And he's saying that since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes. Mm -hmm. So, Paul, in other words, is telling us yes. that from creation, yes. from Genesis, mm -hmm. the message had been Christ. Yes. Even though there is nowhere in the Bible, yes. in, the, in the Old Covenant, you will see the name Christ, mm -hmm. his invisible attributes. Mm -hmm. What are attributes? Mm -hmm. They are like characteristics. Yes. Like I can say, yes. characteristics of Jeremiah. Yes. He is funny. Yes. He heals <laughs> the yes. sick. Yes. He raises the dead. Yes. So we can see yes. people in the Old Covenant mm -hmm. healing the sick, mm -hmm. raising the dead, like mm -hmm. in Elijah. Mm -hmm. They are bones yes. touching dead people and they live. Yes. What Paul is telling us, that those were the invisible attributes mm -hmm. of Christ. Mm -hmm. They were there from creation mm -hmm. up to date. Yes. His, his invisible attributes wow. are being revealed. Praise God. So, personally, I'd like to tell men that Christ is the message of the Bible. Mm -hmm. And without Christ, even that old covenant, mm -hmm. you will not understand it. Mm -hmm. Because as we started, we said, mm -hmm. the Bible is not an intellectual message. Wow. The Bible is a message of faith. Mm -hmm. If you do not have faith in you, mm -hmm. and faith comes by hearing mm -hmm. Christ, oh, yes. If you do not have faith in you, you will not understand the Bible. Mm -hmm. The Bible is not for arguing. Mm -hmm. It's not for settling arguments. Mm -hmm. Now people go into Genesis to try and understand the creation of the world. Yet Genesis 1 is not speaking about the creation of the world. Mm -hmm. Genesis 1 is speaking about Christ in a type and a shadow mm -hmm. that was hidden because Genesis was written to men in whom had no faith in them. Because these men did not have faith in them. Yes. If Moses was to give them, a, if Moses was to reveal to them Christ directly, mm -hmm. they would not understand. Mm -hmm. So instead of revealing Christ to them directly, he used creation to try and, uh, and explain the work of salvation of God. Christ is the message. Amen. From Christ beholders, we are telling you that Christ mm -hmm. is the message. Christ is the focus. Mm -hmm. And it is Christ that we should see. Mm -hmm. So as we close, sir, mm -hmm. uh, what do you want? If, if, if all these, if, if those who are listening, they should forget about everything else that you have said, mm -hmm. what would you want them to remember? Wow. When you see Jesus, you see everything. Yes, sir. When you see Jesus, you see everything everything yes sir. he is the message you can never understand yourself by your own wow for you you'll see your own uh, discouragements frustrations and things that are happening in this world yes sir. but god has called us to see him and how do you see him by believing in him you know when you see him you will walk like him you will think like him. You will have his own life yes, living in the inside of you. And now he has called you, brothers, to know that he is the message. So whose report do you hear? Isaiah asks. Whose report do you hear? I receive the report from the Lord. And what is the report from the Lord? Christ is the message from the beginning to the end. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Wow. That is beautiful. Amen. And I think I will end in the same note. The Bible says that God created man in his own image and likeness. And the book of Colossians tells us that Christ 
is the image mm. of the invisible God. Mm. So if man has received the image of God and Christ is the in, is the image of the invisible God, mm. for you to know yourself, you must look at Christ. Wow. For you to know God, wow. you must look at Christ wow. because you have been created in the image and of Christ. God. Amen. So when you see God, Amen. you see yourself praise for god. god is your image Amen. this has been behold us chat with me ian Kamande and apostle jeremiah blessing and we are blessed to have you listening to us thank you for those who have followed us up to the end and i believe you are blessed christ is the focus of the bible christ is the message and as you see him you are transformed into the same image from glory to glory Amen. see you in the next episode goodbye <laughs>